Yeah, uh, continuing my grocery haul, uh, I got two of these. I was remembering the other day that uh, it probably had been over a year since I bought some because when I bought it the last time, they had it on sale. And I think I must have got at least four. At least four. It may have been more. I'm just not sure. I just know it's been a long time since I had to buy any. And uh, they had these poinsettias at the 99 cent store. $3.99. Yeah, I, I should have got two, but I didn't. So I just put that over by the TV. And let's see here. Uh, Eagle Brand, or it's not Eagle Brand, it's uh, condensed milk. Whenever I find it on sale, I grab it. Now, they had two kinds. They had that Nestle's, and but I generally do this. I'll shake it. If it's real runny, I don't mess with it. But this, you don't hear it. You know what that means? That means it's thick. And that's the kind I like if I'm, uh, I mean, I, I basically use it bake when I'm baking. So, and again, the closer it gets to the holiday, the more expensive something like that will be. I think I paid, I think it was either $149 or one, one garbage bags. Now, I get the, um, the outdoor kind because they're a little thicker. You get eight bags, they're 30-gallon bags. I get three boxes. Now, a lot of this is because, and it's funny because, <laughs> I would like to say it's because I don't go in town that often, but that's not true. I used to stop more than this when I lived right around the corner from it. That's, that's so bizarre. But um, I got, I may fix me some sort of cake, maybe. Uh, probably won't, but uh, they had the pineapple, Duncan Hines, and the strawberry supreme. I like strawberries and I like pineapple, so I got both of those, and they were a dollar, a dollar forty nine a box. So let's see. Um, uh, I got a little Christmas uh, I buy a lot of uh, paper products because I use a lot because I'm I always I'm always prepping prepping um, prepping like uh, when I buy I, I don't know I use a lot of uh, I use a lot of these. These are the Christmas. They only come out at Christmas time. I use a lot of these, which are considered lunch bags, but they're the freezer ones. And they used to be $9.99, but of course, nothing is $9.99 anymore. But uh, they're $1.49 or $1.29, something like that. But I use a lot of them. So I get my uh, plastic wrap and my gallon freezer bags. And I use them for everything. <laughs> I don't just use them in the kitchen. I use them all over the house. So it's just something I started years ago. And it worked out. So I just continue to do it. got some of these. Now, of course, I didn't need any of these because every year I'll pick up a pack of something Christmas themed. But they look cute. They say Merry Christmas. And let me see. How many came in this? And as you can see, the price is $1.29 and it has... Yeah, but you can see on the back here it was $0.99. Cent. But you got six plates. And as you can see, they're over. That's a big size. I may use them this year. I don't know. 
I just like to have stuff in case I don't want to have to run out because I decided at the last minute to do something. But I always use these loaf pans. Uh, I, I probably, but I'm not positive, may do some gingerbread or something. And I do them in these pans. And of course, they sell them three in a pack. I think that's like $1.29. You know, they sell these everywhere. But see, because I always keep stuff like that in the cabinet, I forget and then I'll need it and I don't have it. This is my hibiscus drink. I drink it every day. It occurred to me, I'm out. That's all I have left. I'm gonna have to make some. I guess I would say that's about the only juice that I have in the house. Now these are my 32 ounce masons. Let's see if I can get a wider angle here. Mm. Um, these are my 32 ounce ball canning jars. But I make my hibiscus up in this, in my big pot, my big soup pot. Uh, and I've got a video on that. But generally, I'll get about 12 of these 32-ounce jars out of a batch. Sort of like when I do chili and soup and stuff. Whenever I do it, um, I'll get, you know, a nice amount. And it'll last for a while, like everything else I do in the pot. This was something I saw at the dollar store. It's by Suave, which is for me. But I got it anyway. I think it was like two fifty nine or something. It's supposed to be a leave-in conditioner. And this one is an anti-breakage. Now, oddly enough, <laughs> I don't really have a problem with breakage. It's just that, uh, I guess one would say, uh, at this time in my life, my hair just doesn't grow anymore. You know, when people used to tell me that, I'm like, how can your hair not grow? That's when I never had a problem with my hair growing. But I would say in the past, oh, I don't know, five years maybe, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't shed. It doesn't, doesn't do anything. It just, you know, it doesn't break. It just doesn't. Also, let's see. I uh, got some produce. They, I, I found these in the discount thing. It says uh, two cabbages. Uh, I think they were a dollar for two. I got, uh, I like these portobellos. Uh, I think they were two twenty nine, And of course, I always get some of these. They had them for $1.49. Again, I got this stuff at the dollar store. And some pepperoni. Only because I, I got some miniature pizzas in there. You know how you can buy them in a little pack, a little container. It'll have like four little rounds that are about the size of an English muffin with some everything in there to make a little pizza. But see me, when I see something like that, I think creative and I got to add a bunch of other stuff. So that's where this comes in. I picked up the pepperoni and... I didn't need cheese, of course, because I always got plenty of cheese. Plenty of cheese. Let's see. Now, what I did pick up today was, while I was at Walmart, of course, I had been looking for these, and I couldn't find them. These uh, gingerbread, ginger, gingerbread men, they are, um, they are, Hard to find. You can go in there and find little Debbie, but you don't find um you don't find every you don't find these. You find everything else. But that's the one that's they're always out of. And I needed a spoon, as I pointed out in one of my videos. I have those that have the holes in it, but they're all losing their handle, so I picked this one up because it's the only one I need. I got all the rest. And I don't know if you noticed, this is what I was looking at in Walmart. Another can opener. It's KitchenAid, so hopefully it'll hold up. I didn't throw it out. That's how I... Oh, it was Ferberware. This is the one. I should take took it back because I know I didn't have it that long now that I look at it. I didn't have this that long. Maybe three months. 
So, see? It just doesn't catch anymore. So I, I don't know what that's about. But uh, let's see. Oh, okay. This is also something they had, which I don't normally do, but when it's 99 cents, I got to grab it. They had the Oscar Mayer ham and turkey. 99 cents. Now, anytime the 99 cent store have name brand meat like this at a discount, that's because it's getting close to expiration. But I'm okay with that because I'm going to put it in the freezer anyway. And that'll give me time to use it. Yeah. Yeah, that'll give me time to use it. And also, something I had never done before I started buying these at the 99 cent store. They had Pillsbury, the Crescent, two for a dollar. So I got four. But uh, this was, I don't know, a few years ago when I first bought them and I was using stuff like that a lot. I said, oh man, how can I keep this stuff? I'm not gonna be able to keep it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hold up. What am I gonna do? I stuck it in the freezer. I said, let's see what happens. Nothing happened. <laughs> Absolutely nothing happened. When I took it out, of course, I had to set it out to unthaw. But other than that, it worked just fine. So, yeah, I mean, two for a dollar. So, I got four. Like, I eat a lot of bread now, which I don't. But, okay. um, oh, yeah. I also got some blueberries. They had blueberries for 99 cents. Now, because I, I brought these home last night, like I've said before, when I bring produce in, I always wash and prep it, put it up. See why I use so many bags? I'll be using some of this for my hibiscus tea. I use blueberries in it. So, Oh, I know what. Now these, what I do with these is I open the box and because they are small, I won't need to. And you can't see me. Jesus Christ. This is annoying. You know, wouldn't it be great? Well, it's going to come to that one day. It's not there yet, but it will come to that. When the camera will follow you around. Well, actually, they do have that. The camera follows you. I guess that's going to put some people out of a job, huh? Unlike those other, those, uh, what were they, ginger chews or something I bought. Uh, these are individually wrapped already, so. And this is what I do with them. I'll take them. Probably double bag this though. See? For those of you who don't know, this is what they look like. Little baby ginger gingerbread. And yeah, I'll double bag it. Even though it's, it's double bag, but I'll double bag it again. And see, this way, what I can do is every time I want one, I can just um, take it. Take it out of the, take the one I want out of the freezer. So see, that, that's that. And like I said, I use, I use so many of these bags. I really do. Actually, I still had some of the Christmas freezer bags from last year. And I'd be more inclined last year than this year because I'm I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do any Christmas baking. I'm pretty sure. Not positive, but with everything that's got my brain preoccupied, I don't think I'm going to bother with trying to do all that. And if that were the case, I'd have definitely been in the, uh, 
in the, when I went in the store, I was just buying up 10 pounds of flour and uh, probably 20 pounds of sugar and a, a bunch of stuff, which is what I do when I'm baking. I have to buy, I get that 25 pound bag of flour. <laughs> I don't think people realize how much it takes to put out batches of stuff like that. It takes a lot. In addition to health-wise, it takes a lot out of you, which is why I'm not going to. I said last year I wouldn't undertake that uh, this year. And my body surely has proved me, no, you're not going to do that. You better leave that alone. So I'm going to keep these in here. Um, let's see. You might say, well, you didn't have any meat in your groceries. No, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't buy too much meat. You know, I got, I, I know you can't see. <laughs> My freezer is full. It always is. But, um, this is my little chest freezer. The one, the refrigerator one, this is full. Literally full with meat. Different types of fish. Oh, that's right. I said I was going to have fish today. <laughs> I forgot. I said I was having fish. I'm going to have to take some out of the bag. Because I only want maybe, uh, maybe a couple... I'm, I'm only going to fry what I need. There was a time I would fry up maybe three or four pieces. No, I'm not doing that. I don't need to do any of that. So I'm not. Okay. So I did want to make sure I got the water though because I bought, last week I bought a case at, what was I at? I think it was Walmart. And so I really wanted to make sure that now I'm going to have some cabbage. I'm going to make some, just a little bit of coleslaw. And, yeah, I, uh, like I said, I keep plenty, plenty of produce. It's, you know, it's just about me trying to get my vegetables in. Uh, this is in, and I know you can't see this. This is in the drawer to the right, which is the one that generally has the vegetables in it. This is red pepper. This is uh, uh, peppers, just like the other one I got here. This one I had, and this is the one I just bought. Uh, cucumbers. What is that? Tomato. And there's some carrots in here also. And that's in that drawer. Let's see. Let me put this up. And generally, this I keep some, this is iceberg. I keep that in there washed and ready. Uh, I never know what I'm going to want. But I've got uh, lemons, limes, some more lemons. There's also some apples in here, uh, as well as, um, let's see here. Also, actually I got two, spring mix, these are the little pieces I was talking about, see little tiny babies, see that, and that's another spring mix, so actually, one's getting ready to go bad though, um, so I, I have two. And of course, I have eggs in here. I always have eggs. Now, 
again, like I said, I prep this stuff in advance. Generally, when I bring it in, I'll wash it. And prep it meaning I'll wash it, cut it up, and put it either in a baggie or a container. In this case, this is... um. This is, that's watermelon. Um, and these are grapes, the brown ones, but they're really sweet and they're seedless. See, I washed them, um, took them off the stems or vines and put them in these containers. And that way, when I want one, I can just take it out. I don't have to take any out of it. I can just take the whole container. And because I've already washed it, it's ready. I don't have to do anything. And that that's what I do. That's what I do when I bring stuff in here. I don't just put it up. I go ahead and, as I say, when I say I'm prepping something, that, that's, that's what it means. That I'm going to do what I need to do to get it ready so that when I, I want to eat, I don't have to do a lot to eat. Like today, my plan is to have, uh, I took this out of the freezer, which is what I do, which is where I put everything once I prep it. Oh man, I hate this. Um... Um, let's see here. When I, when I like make a pot of soup or something, this is what I do with it. Just like I did the cookies, I bag it up. Every meat I could possibly want is in here. Really, it is. This is, um, this is the chili that I made, I think last week. And again, that's why I say I use a lot of freezer bags. I have individually bagged up, uh, you might say, a serving size, which is probably might be enough for two people. But it's certainly enough for each bag represents at least two bowls. So this is what I do when, when I'm ready to prep it or store it. I will put individual like sandwich bags, freezer bags, and then bag that in a bigger bag and I think I mean that pot I I think I got whew, how many bags did I get out of that about 12 bags yeah I got about 12 bags out of uh, out of that pot so like I said I won't have to make chili till next year this is my vegetable soup. Now, I didn't bag that up individual because uh, uh, thinner soup is a lot more difficult. Not impossible, but it's a lot, it's harder. So I just freezer bag it and I double bag it and then I freeze it. But I also do with my cheese. When I get bags of cheese, meaning big bags, I separate it into freezer bags. So when I tell you I use a lot of bags, I do. I do. I use a lot. And so as far as the vegetable soup is concerned, I uh, I uh, I get about six bags, six gallon bags out of my pot. Broccoli I bought last week, so I'm good on that. Uh, so as you can see, I have fruits and vegetables and I also buy canned vegetables so I don't just buy fresh I buy canned depending on what it is um, but the main thing is it's, it's, it's really about me uh, trying to do what I need to do so that I can be healthy this is the chili I did have like a cup that size because this is real thick so I can't eat so much of it but I got that, and this, this, I don't know if you can tell, this is spaghetti. I do it with all food, well, I don't do it with all, I don't do it with like uh, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, I will, but uh, I will, sweet potatoes I bake, and then bag them up, so 
one of these will be dinner tonight. Probably the, uh, since I took fish out, probably the spaghetti. Um, this is the, uh, last night when I finally got home, I wanted broccoli. So when you buy it like that and it's frozen, it doesn't take that long to put a pot on the stove and, you know, it doesn't take that long. By the time I got through with all the stuff I was doing, my broccoli was ready. So, and I put some cheese on it. So, but this, when I said a, a small, this is a ramekin of, um, this is what I had the chili in. Now, I know up close it looks big, but actually this is probably, hmm, probably, uh, I want to say a half a cup. But see, my, my, my thing is, I have every intent. <laughs> I'm still eating. See, these are the, these are the grapes, uh, this container. I've been eating on, I don't know, probably all this week, meaning last week. And, uh, you know, because when stuff is ready, all you got to do is take the lid off, you know, eat a few. Because it's ready. I don't have to do any prepping. It's just ready. So anyway, uh, I think that's all. That's my grocery haul for today. And, um, yeah, I think, I think that's it. I think, I think that's it. I mean, anybody got any questions or comments, please leave your comments and your questions, uh, down there. Please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. See, I have lots of produce. <laughs> this is a bag. Bag of sweet potatoes. You remember the time when uh, you couldn't even find a bag of sweet potatoes. You'd go in the store because they sold them. You could buy them by the pound, but you never saw a bag of sweet potatoes like white potatoes. You didn't see it. You just would go in there, and if you wanted three or four, you'd get three or four. Put them in a plastic bag, and you might weigh them, but you 